Hello everyone, welcome to ITPK. Windows 11 setup just got a lot stricter. Microsoft has started blocking almost every known method to script the Microsoft account sign in. But don't worry, there are still multiple ways you can install or set up Windows 11 without using the Microsoft account. In this video, I will show you exactly how you can still bypass the Microsoft account sign in and complete the setup with a local account safely and effectively. Now, let's see the first method to bypass Microsoft account sign in on Windows 11. On your Windows installation screen, please go ahead and press Shift plus F10. Once you press Shift F10, you will get this command prompt open on the screen. Here, let's go ahead and add the registry. Glory G space add HKLM slash software slash Microsoft slash Windows slash current version slash o o b e space now put the forward slash v then space bypass n r o capital again space and put the forward slash then t then again space r e g capital underscore d word space forward slash again then d space one then again space forward slash and f after entering this command press enter you will see here that the operation completed successfully now at this point we have to restart our computer put in the command shutdown forward slash r forward slash t space zero then press enter Now at this point, please make sure you have disconnected your machine from the internet to bypass the Microsoft account sign-in. Okay, select the language and select the keyboard. And here, I want to select I don't have an internet. And then here, you could continue creating your local account. Once the local account created, you could go ahead and reconnect your computer to the internet. Now the next method is that we can also use the command winjs.application that is primarily built to use the web technologies. To use this workaround on your keyboard, press Ctrl, Shift, and J. Now here, please go ahead and enter winjs.application.restart and then open the parenthesis and inside parenthesis please type quotation and inside the quotation please type ms dash c x h forward slash and then type local only capital and then press enter now here please go ahead and press the escape button and go ahead and enter the local username and then the password two time to confirm it scroll down and don't forget to select the security questions click next and your account is ready in the next quick method we are going to use hide online account screens option which is the specific configuration option during the windows installation again press shift f10 you got the command prompt here now let's type command to add the registry here let's type reg space add hklm backward slash software backward slash microsoft backward slash windows backward slash current version backward slash o o b e space forward slash v space hide online account screens space forward slash t and then again space r e g capital underscore d word and again space forward slash t 
then space 1 and then again space forward slash and F and press enter. You will see the operation completed successfully here. Now at this point please go ahead and restart your computer shut down forward slash R space forward slash T and then 0. For this command technically you don't need to disconnect your computer from the internet. Now let's continue with the setup. Yes, that's fine. Yes, I want to skip keyboard layout for now. And here you go directly on this step. Now you can proceed here entering your username and the password and the security questions. And the next quick and easy way I want to show you to bypass the Microsoft account sign in is the installation of Windows Pro version. Let me quickly go through it and show you. Select the language, keyboard, I want to skip the layout here. Now here you will get this option in Windows Pro. Just go ahead and select setup for work or school account and then click next. Now at this step, please go ahead and click on sign in option. Then go to domain join instead. Here you could go ahead and enter your username and then click next. Now enter the password. Click next, then confirm your password. Again, click next. Here, just go ahead and select your security questions. Next. Now here you could go ahead and choose your privacy setting and then accept. So here we have set up local user account instead of Microsoft account. And we have bypassed Microsoft account sign in successfully. Now the next method we are going to see here using Rofos software. Just go ahead and open up this website on your browser. Scroll down. Here, download the latest version of this little software. Now open it. Go ahead and click on this select button. Here, please select the Windows image. Let me connect my USB here. Okay, once I connected the USB, I can see my USB here under device. I've selected the ISO file image of Windows 11 and then here you could go ahead and change the volume level if you want i don't want to change it when you click on the start you will get these options please make sure you have selected this option remove requirement for an online microsoft account and the second option you have to select is create a local account with a username here go ahead and specify the username and press ok now you got the warning that all the data on device will be destroyed. This is asking for your USB. Make sure your USB doesn't have any important data. Click OK and now it started making your USB bootable with the Windows ISO image. Once you have installed Windows 11 operating system using this USB, this account will have no password. You have to set up the password for this account. So once your Windows is all set up without the password, go to Settings app in your Windows, then go to Accounts, and in the Account section, please go to Sign in Options, and here, please go ahead and set up your password. And that's how you can still bypass the Microsoft account login requirement in Windows 11 setup. Remember, some of these methods might stop working in the future updates. So if one doesn't work for you, try the another one. And let me know in the comments which one worked for your system. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more Windows and IT tips. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.